All right, <clears throat> I've got my three solutions. Here's my uh, thermocouple. I've got my cold solution, which is at four degrees current, three. Now I give it a little stir. That's a two. <laughs> so it looks backward to me, but hopefully I'll fix it. So that's a two. Then I've got my room temperature. No need to condition at this time. I've got my room temperature. That's a 25. Got my warm one. Give it a little stir. Make sure it's the same. And, uh, you know, I overheated my uh, hot solution, so I did put some of my cold solution into it to bring it down to the right temperature. You can see it's still a little high, so I'm going to wait a couple more minutes, and then I'm going to taste them. You're tasting for sweetness, and you're sort of trying to rate, rate them, what is most sweet and what is least sweet and what's middle sweet, and then think about whether or not it's like very much sweeter, it's close, so, and here's where, you know, as far as taste goes, we don't have good numbers for these, but, uh, and that's where this gets a little tricky. That's where um, it's, you know, that's where you have to think about Collings and what she did as far as uh, thresholds and things like that. But we just want to, we want to see what happens as a function of taste with temperature because we're going to be drinking coffee at different temperatures. All right, I'll wait a couple more minutes. Might even pour a tiny bit of the cold into the hot, see what happens.